Hey everyone, welcome to Clarify Review Hub. Curious about the best 3D printers hitting the market in 2024? You're in the right place. Today I'll introduce you to the top 3D printers that stand out with their speed, quality, and innovative features. Plus, we have some exciting news. We've reached 1,000 subscribers and our giveaway has ended. We'll announce the winner within a week. Our next goal is 10,000 subscribers. Once we hit that milestone, we'll be giving away a product worth between $200 and $500. Don't forget to subscribe and increase your chances to win. Let's get started. First off, let me introduce you to the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon 3D Printer. To start with, I want to talk about how easy this printer is to use. 3D printing can be pretty complex, but this printer makes everything as simple as possible. The icons on its touch screen help you understand what each setting does. If you ever need to perform maintenance or troubleshoot an issue, you can easily access relevant articles by scanning a QR code. This feature really enhances the user experience. The Bamboo Handy app is equally impressive. You can control your print remotely, adjust temperature settings, and even pause the print if needed. With the printer's built-in camera, you can monitor your prints in real time. Additionally, the printer can take photos at each layer and compile them into a time-lapse video, which is a pretty cool feature. Now, let's talk about the print quality and speed. This printer can print at speeds of up to 500 mm per second. Even at standard print speeds, you can get a Benchy print in about 25 minutes. However, it does spend about six. 8 minutes calibrating before each print. This time is a worthy trade-off for achieving perfect prints, in my opinion. The multi-color printing capability of this printer is also quite impressive. With the AMS module, you can use up to four different colors of filament. The filament changes do generate some waste, which can be annoying, but you can make some modifications to reduce this waste. However, the printer does have a few drawbacks. During multicolor prints, the filament changes produce a lot of waste, and this process can be time-consuming. Also, the printer is quite noisy. You might need to make some modifications to reduce the noise. Finally, let's talk about the price. The X1 Carbon starts at $1,500. Its sturdy construction of metal and glass offers a much higher quality compared to other 3D printers on the market. Next up, let me introduce you to the Creality K1 Max 3D printer. First, let's talk about its features. The Creality K1 Max is a fully enclosed core XY printer with a 300x, 300x, 300mm build area and a top-mounted belt-driven system. It also has a direct drive extruder system and a small carbon filter at the back. You can remove the top cover and open the front door, making it very user-friendly. For those like me who have shelves or shelving systems, it offers an option to mount the filament holder on the side. This eliminates the hassle of constantly trying to feed filament from the back. Creality's new touchscreen software system is also very user-friendly, allowing you to copy files from one USB to another without any issues. This printer is compatible with Orca Slicer, which means you can control your prints remotely, adjust temperature settings, and pause the print if needed. Orca Slicer allows you to use all the printer's settings and remote control features. This is a significant advantage, especially for those who print continuously. As for the performance of the Creality K1 Max printer, I was genuinely impressed with the print quality and reliability. I constantly print for my Etsy shop, and these printers have proven to be very durable in the process. The biggest issue was occasionally having minor problems with bed adhesion. I solved this by changing the bed surface and got much better results. However, the printer does have its drawbacks. It's quite noisy, especially during high-speed prints. This can make it challenging to use in a bedroom, but if you have a workshop or garage, it won't be a problem. Next up, let me introduce you to the Elugu Neptune 3 Max 3D printer. Let's start with the unboxing. The Neptune 3 Max is very well packaged. Inside the box, you'll find all the printer parts, a filament sensor, power cable, USB cable, spatula, spare nozzles, and an SD card reader. There's also a glue stick you can use for heated beds without adhesive surfaces. Peeling off the protective film from the touchscreen is quite satisfying. And then I assembled the filament holder, filament sensor, and reinforcement rods. 
The assembly of the printer is quite straightforward. While the X and Y axes worked smoothly, I had an issue with the Z axis bed leveling. Thankfully, Elugu's customer service was quick to help, and we found that the sensor cables were pinched. A small adjustment solved this problem. The Elugu Neptune 3 Max features a large 420 by 420 mm build area and a 500 mm Z axis, allowing for very large prints. Bed leveling is made easy with an induction sensor. There are also screws for manual adjustments, which are helpful for fine tuning. Another important feature is its ability to pause the print when the filament runs out and resume after reloading new filament. This has been very useful for long prints. The Neptune 3 Max's user interface is quite intuitive. You can detach the touchscreen and mount it wherever you like, though I did notice it wobbles a bit. Still, you can easily make all the necessary adjustments through the screen. For instance, you can heat the nozzle to 200 degrees, load filament, and start printing. When compared to printers like the Creality CR10 Max, the Neptune 3 Max offers similar features at half the price. The PEI-coated flexible metal bed makes removing prints easy. It also stands out with its sturdy build and user-friendly interface. Finally, let me introduce you to the FlashForge Adventurer 5M Pro 3D Printer. This printer offers incredibly fast and stable performance with its Core XY technology. If you're considering Bamboo Labs P1P or Creality's K1 models, you should definitely take a look at this one too. First, let's talk about the setup. After unboxing, removing the foam, and loosening the screws, securing the print plate, setting up the printer is quite simple. While it might not be possible to complete the setup in the 10 minutes the manufacturer claims, the whole process is very user-friendly. When you turn on the printer, it handles important steps like auto calibration and vibration compensation on its own. Flash Forge includes a nice 250 gram spool of titanium blue filament with the printer. I usually don't care much for the included filaments, but I really liked this color. The filament holder is located at the back, which can make changing filament tricky. However, on this model, the filament holder sticks out a bit and the PTFE tube comes out from the side, making it much easier to load filament. Despite being a compact Core XY printer with a 220 mm cube build volume, it offers quite a spacious print area. The touchscreen and user-friendly interface make it easy to use, although the touchscreen sensitivity is a bit low and some buttons require multiple presses. One of the standout features of this printer is the quick change nozzle system. To change the nozzle, you simply pull the red latches, remove the old nozzle, and insert a new one. This system makes using the printer much easier and faster. On the software side, there are a few shortcomings. Flash Print 5 and Orca Slicer software are available, but the Wi-Fi functionality is currently not working. We've reached the end of our review. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content, don't forget to subscribe and like the video.